I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I coach people. I coach organizations. I'm the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. And someone I coach asked the question. And it translates into, I received an, actually not translate, this is what he wrote. I received an offer letter. The offer is in line with what was expected. What is the etiquette when dealing with the company to maximize benefits without offending them? Now, he goes on to say, the company knows that I'm in the midst of ending other interviews and did not ask for a rapid reply to the offer. They want me to be confident uh, with the fit and avoid me accepting this role as a temporary role. Any advice you could share would be ap appreciated. Uh, this is a, someone who has been applying for jobs for the past two months, some success with recruiters. There's a whole bunch of extraneous stuff here. So the question is, how do you negotiate at this point? The offer is in line with what was expected. Now, I'm going to interpret this as being, he was received an oral offer and the offer letter confirmed what he was told orally. And that's what we're really dealing with is a negotiation of benefits. Now, I don't know the size of the firm because that does make a difference. We also don't know what benefits are involved here. As you know, bonuses are based upon individual contribution and firm-wide profitability. And managers have a degree of discretion in how much they're going to issue to one person versus another. And if they give more to you than to someone else on their staff, and it's been prearranged, you know, other people are gonna get screwed and leave. If we're dealing with 401k, it's non-negotiable because it's an institutional policy. Now, let me just continue by saying large firms are always reluctant to do um, negotiations that they'll commit to in writing. For example, we'll give you an extra week vacation. The reason, as I've said in early videos or earlier videos, is that they're concerned that we live in litigious times and that they give the... Uh, the additional vacation to the white guy and not the non-white guy or the non, you know, the um, the woman involved. And, you know, they have a concern about discrimination issues. Smaller firms, it's, it's different. You can often negotiate additional terms. And those terms can, and this first one with vacation, you know, can be done with the larger firms. I have a vacation that's already booked for such and such date and time. I'd like to take my vacation then. They can go, sure, or you haven't been on board long enough to accrue any vacation time. So I'm not sure we can give you that. You can take it unpaid, and that is a pretty common large uh, company response for staff level, manager down, more senior people, you can negotiate it up. With regard to smaller firm, you know, often the smaller firm is more flexible about negotiation because they're not bound by the same rules and conditions or concern about litigation. The real thing is they met the money. What are we really talking about here? Are we talking about more vacation, more bonus, more, you know, they're not going to negotiate a special insurance policy for you. Remember, you know, if you're at a staff level, you know, well, let me back up for a second. Minimum benefit standards were specified in the Affordable Care Act. And there's penalties for people at a senior level who have preferential or Cadillac insurance, as it was called at the time. So there are limits that what the, if you were a very senior level, can negotiate for yourself because it penal, the firm has to pay penalties for that. So benefits negotiation becomes a complicated issue. Can you talk about some things and see if you can finesse them into conceding? Absolutely, you do it, but don't push hard. Uh, as the le letter later says, you know, it basically translates into, uh, um, I don't want to rock the, rock the boat or upset the apple cart or whatever the euphemism was. What I want to do is bring this to a successful conclusion and move and join. So, the long and the short of it is large company, you're gonna have limited success in negotiating unless you're at a very senior level. Uh, if you're average Jane or Joe, 
they're not really going to budge all that much. As for canceling other things, you should, if you're prepared to say yes to this offer, you should continue to interview if you aren't. That's really the you know, the uh, the best advice I can give you. Again, small company, you have a shot at negotiating many of these points, and you can get a feel for where they're starting to get annoyed at you. Don't push too hard. You apparently want this job. Don't blow it. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin. If you're interested in my coaching, you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw the video because I like knowing I'm helping folks. Once connected, you know, we can set up a time for a free discovery call and I'll see if I can help you. Hope you have a great day and take care.